board question from chapter electrostatic. Six capacitors of capacities 5, 5, 5, 5, 10, and X microfarad connected as shown in network. Find the value of X if network is balanced. We have to find out X if network is balanced and the resultant capacitance between A and C. Now let's see solution. So here, this is phi, second is phi, this is a phi. And if network is balanced, then this combination must be phi. Effective resistance of 10 and X must be phi. Solution, if network is balanced, then we write, so 1 by C as series combination of two, two capacitance, 1 by 10 microfarad plus 1 by X microfarad must be equal to 5. So this C as I am writing here, 1 by 5 is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by X. This X we have to find out. So here, yeah, 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by X. Now here we can write, 2 minus 1 divided by 10 is equal to 1 by x. So here 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by x. So obviously x is equal to 10 microfarad. So we get a value of x. So point A, B sort out. So the value of x if network is balanced is 10 microfarad. Now second one, the resultant capacitance between A and C. So resultant capacitance we have to find out. See here, you remember one thing, the alternate diagram if you want to draw, you can draw like this. This is phi, the another one is phi, this is phi, and this is 10 and x, total is phi. And the middle one, this we are not considering because if the network is balanced, then there's no current from these middle capacitance. So here, now phi, phi, and this is phi, and this is phi. So here, yeah, first we find out this phi and phi are parallel combination and then this phi and phi are parallel combination. So I can consider this as a, a C1 and this as a C2 and then C1 and C2, they are in series. So here yeah, B part, uh, resultant capacitance. I can give the heading resultant capacitance. Take. So 1 by C1 is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5. So here it is 2 by 5. So C1 we can write 5 by 2 means it's a 2.5 microfarad. So we have we get C1. Then also I can write uh, C2 also. 1 by C2 is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5. So again here 2 by 5. And C2 is equal to 5 by 2 means 2.5 microfarad. As this, C1 and C2, they are connected in parallel. Hence, I can write a total capacitance. Hence, effective capacitance. Effective capacitance is, I can write it here now. So C is equal to C1 plus C2. So C1 is 2.5 and C2 is 2.5. So 2.5 plus 2.5, it is coming 5 microfarad. And this is the effective capacitance between the terminal A and C. So I can write C between A and C. It is 5 microfarad. You note one thing here. If a, if a network is balanced and all the capacitance are same, 5, 5, 5, 5, then the resultant capacitance of the network is coming 5 only. Means the same value we are getting. 